Welcome to episode 2.2 of How to do the Japanese accent. In the previous episode, I talked about how Japanese speakers would pronounce the English stops and nasals. In this episode, I will explain how the English fricatives in affricates would be pronounced by Japanese speakers. What are fricatives in affricates? Firstly, fricatives are sounds that are made by creating a loose obstruction and then letting the airstream go through that obstruction. This usually results in a high frequency hissing noise. In English, there are roughly nine fricatives. Affricates, on the other hand, are a combination of stops and fricatives. You create a blockage in your oral cavity and then release the blockage slightly so that the airstream can exit, creating a high frequency fricative noise. In English, there are four affricates. If you look at the spectrograms of these sounds, you can see that they can be divided into two parts, the plosive part and the fricative part. Now that we know what fricatives in affricates are, let's look at the first pair of fricatives. Even though we often see the letter F being used in the romanization of the Japanese sound, who, the Japanese language doesn't actually have this sound. This is why I prefer to use the letter H. The closest sound that Japanese has to F is the voiceless bilabial fricative. As the technical name suggests, to produce this sound, you position your lips as close to each other as possible and then exhale like when you do when you whistle, as in hua. The crucial difference from F is that you don't use your teeth at all when making this sound. I'll say some English words containing the F sound with a Japanese accent. You can repeat after me to practice. Fire, fire, tahu, tahu, hurafi, hurafi, fifty, fifty, ibuprofen, ibuprofen. The V sound, on the other hand, is pronounced very differently. As mentioned in the previous episode, V becomes B in the Japanese accent. This is why Japanese speakers often can't tell the difference between V and B. I'll say some words containing the V sound and you can repeat after me. Vintage, vintage, barubu, barubu, evolubu, evolubu, observation. Observation. Kaba. Kaba. Both of these sounds exist in Japanese, so I'll be brief. However, there is one thing to be careful about. When these sounds are followed by the E sound, they become SH and ZH respectively. Otherwise, they are pronounced in the same way as they are in English. Let's look at some examples. SHITTO. SHITTO. ZIPPU. ZIPPU. Asisto, asisto, positive, positive, psychology, psychology, guess, guess, soda, soda, zoo, zoo. These sounds do not exist in Japanese. The closest sounds that we have are s and z. So all the rules that apply to s and z also apply to them. This means that when followed by the E sound, they also become SH and ZH. Listen to some examples. Shinku, Shinku, Jeez, Jeez, Thank you, Thank you, Zen, Zen, Suru, Suru, Zo, Zo, Tusu, Tusu, Smooth, Smooth, Azar, azar. Both of these sounds exist in Japanese, but zh may sometimes become j. This also happens in English. For example, when an English speaker tries to say the French name Jacques and instead says Jack, or even worse, Jacquees. Here are some examples: shiny, shiny, wish, wish, toreja, toreja, mission. Mission, composition, composition, exposure, exposure. Finally, the H sound has no voiced counterpart in English or Japanese. Japanese speakers tend not to have any trouble pronouncing this sound, so here are some examples that contain this sound. Hado, hado, inheru, inheru, haihun, haihun, aha, aha. Who, who, 
Huge, huge. Now we move on to the affricates. Both of these sounds exist in Japanese, so they are not a problem for Japanese speakers. However, since the combination T plus I in Japanese becomes Chi instead of T, English words containing this sequence may sometimes be affected. For example, the word ticket starts with T plus I, so in Japanese, this word is pronounced chiketto, chiketto. Another common example is the English word steal, which in Japanese becomes suchiru, suchiru. Similarly, some English words containing the sequence D plus I go through a similar process. For instance, the word radio in Japanese is rajio, rajio, and the mathematical term radian is rajian, rajian. However, sometimes it's difficult to tell whether this sound is the fricative zh or the affricate j because the distinction is not clear in Japanese. Now listen to some examples. Chachi, chachi, jachi, jachi, ichi, ichi, pajama, pajama, cheese, cheese, jeans, jeans, continental, continental, radiator, radiator. In English, this pair of affricates usually occur only in the word final position, as in students. Some loan words deviate from this pattern, such as the Japanese loan word tsunami, tsunami. From this example, you can infer that these affricates also exist in Japanese, but in Japanese they can occur word initially. The second affricate, the voiced affricate, tends to be replaced by z. Also, Japanese speakers may sometimes pronounce the T sound as t, as in tree, which becomes tsuri, tsuri, or tu, which becomes tsua, tsua. But interestingly, true doesn't become tsuru and instead becomes turu, turu. Have a listen to some examples. Students, students, kids, kids, was. Was twin, twin, twister, twister. This is the end of today's episode. In episode 2.3, I will go through the rest of the English consonants. Until then, bye.